say, like, well, I couldn't breastfeed for long because I had a low milk supply. Is it true that some people just don't produce mm, I got a good answer. enough? Mm -hmm. That is true, and it's about, they average about 1% of population. There's a couple of things that cause that with hap to happen. One of them is that you have what's called insufficient glandular tissue, which means while your breasts are forming, while you were young, you did not make the appropriate glandular tissue to breastfeed. It is a very distinct look. Any lactation consultant that knows what they're doing, or probably a set for their boards, will be able to distinctly tell what that looks like. Um, so yes, that happens. Um, it was funny because I had a mom who took my class and then she, um, it was her second child and she just couldn't understand. She did everything she could and everyone said to her, you know, not having enough milk, you must have done something wrong, you were giving too many bottles, you were da 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 da, -da. And then the second I saw her, I was like, oh, that makes complete sense. So anyway, so yes, that is a fact. The other thing that can happen with, um, when you have a potential low milk supply is that you have had some damage along the way to your breast tissue while you're developing. So did you fall off your bike and hit into your handlebars and truly damage yourself to the point in your growing years that those ducts are never gonna work appropriately? That's what often happens with implants. It's not necessarily that too many ducts were cut in the process of putting the implants in. There are many reasons, but sometimes it just doesn't work out because when the implants were put into your size A breast and now you have size D breast, that pressure from the implant and the swelling put so much damage on those ducts that they could not recover and now breastfeed. So it's not necessarily you know, always because of that. We had a woman recently who had a car accident at six weeks postpartum with her first baby, and the seat belt, did, she had a hematoma, she had to have a drain, she had all kinds of issues. And um, therefore, in turn, the breast never worked through that pregnancy, it did not work again the second pregnancy. She's exclusively breastfeeding, and you know, she just feeds on the other side, and that's fine. And you know, going back to the third world countries where the women work in the field, they breastfeed only on their non dominant side. They wear the babies in the sling, they only breastfeed on that side, and that's it, and the babies grow fine and healthy. So sometimes it's a matter of one not working properly because something happening along the way, but the other will usually compensate. Okay? So we can usually tell and get to the bottom of what's happened or what's going on, but truly most of it is because bottles were given or pumping was done or passed. You know, there's usually a reason why um, your system wasn't driven properly in order for that to happen.